Aloha, all City Canvas viewers. Welcome back to chapter four of this video blog. Can you believe it? It's gone so fast now. And we have some funky stuff lined up, as per usual. Except this time, we're gonna move it around a little bit, okay? There's gonna be murals, yes, but there's gonna be two historic things I'm gonna tell you about. As well as a list and a wide variety of uh, art shows you can go to wherever it is you are around the world. Achtung! Chavos, recuerden que pueden activar los subtítulos en YouTube en la pantalla en el botoncito que dice CC. So let's go. Let us begin. On the streets. A special shout out this week to our friends at Color Walk in Ciudad Juarez. They've started from the 5th of this month till the 21st and they have a mad lineup of street artists. Now, the gist of this organization is basically to change the face of the city after so much bad rep. Color Walk will be sending us over a few of the finished pieces. Two artists that have already finished their crazy murals are Mexican artist Werk and Roman. So you can check those out. We'll give you the 411 on how these walls ended up. Christian Rex Van Minen. You guys need to go to Grand and Sixth in New York City. Stand right in front of the mural and analyze it like this. Like this. For as long as you need to, okay? This is some trippy stuff. I mean, this guy's already known for doing crazy, wonderfully disturbing pieces and now you get to see it in a large-scale mural now a few days ago buff monster finished this rad piece on houston and first that you need to go i because you love new york too stephen david Ogburn, aka Blade, aka the greatest graffiti legend in the world. We need to talk about this guy for many reasons. One, he started writing graffiti when he was 15, 1972. 12 years later, approx, 1984. He had tagged and written on more than 5,000 subway trains in New York City. Number two, he created overlapping 3D letters in 1975 and blockbuster letters in 1975. I mean, come on. number three, he quit when he was 30, because by that time, he was already the king of graffiti. So, there's been a lot of books written about him, about his work, photographs of the amazing work he's done on trains, but the latest one, Blade King of Graffiti, is a must on your shelves. So get it today in Amazon. In a 2012 interview with Global Street Art, he told them that he only got in jail once. For one day in 1975 for racking up paint and never got caught while tagging the thousands of trains he did. All City Canvas was thrilled and honored to be in Auf Berlin for the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. It was truly an emotive, surreal, historic moment and we were able to see how 8,000 helium balloons were released into the sky to mark this commemorative event And just to see the reactions of people in the street was surreal. We were in Eberstrasse, walking towards Potsdamer Platz. And just as we got there, we started noticing that there were some guys with these, like, very peculiar jackets and thought, where could we get one? They're pretty badass. And then realized these guys were in charge of releasing the helium balloons. So, As the time came, the loudspeakers in the streets started projecting the sound of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, and as it began, so did the release of the balloons. You know how I told you a few weeks ago that All City Canvas renewed its soul? Well, last weekend we were at Tag DFE, which is the largest creativity and technology festival in Latin America, and launched our new image, which I don't think I need to talk to you about. It's more like you need to watch it and see what's going on. Wow, 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 wow,
just as we give shout outs to our dear friends, we also like to give thanks because we are very thankful. Especially with Jerry Perenchio, who revealed last week that he will be bequeathing a 47 piece collection to the Los Angeles County Museum, aka LACMA. The collection, which Perenchio amassed for more than 50 years, is made up of some of the best artists in 19th and 20th century contemporary art. Degas, Monet, Picasso, Manet, Magritte, Cézanne, I mean, pretty mind-blowing. So much so that LACMA museum director and chief executive Michael Govan was like, this is by far the absolute best gift the museum has received ever. You may not have heard of Jerry Perenchio, but I am sure you've heard of the Spanish-speaking network, which he was the former chairman and single largest shareholder, Univision. We can only say gracias, papi. And this week, on our favorite section of Food Tips by... Hey, hello. Argentinian maestro Jazz told us that the place to be, Auf Berlin, you have to go to Strasse Paul Linka Ufe. 39 and 40, it's weird in Berlin, but that's how, you know, the numbers go. And go to Cocolo Ramen. Once you're there, you sit down in one of these beautiful tables. The ambiance is amazing. Whether you go by night or day, you choose. But whatever you do, do not leave without ordering the pork ramen, mm, look at that, and a side of gyozas. And if you're feeling adventurous, go for sake or a non-alcoholic green tea. Yummy! And before I go, I mean, I know you love hearing all that I have to tell you about the urban and contemporary art world, but I really want you guys to hit the galleries, go to the shows, wherever it is you are in the world, because we are, that's what we're doing, promoting art in its totality. So, here's a list of what's going down this week up and around the world. And because we want to add more to this list, guys, galleries, projects, artists, feed me your information. And really, we want to broadcast your work, we want to let people know about the, what's going on in your galleries, and what better way to do it than through this little channel of ours. And please, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in our various social media. Enjoy! <laughs>